How's it going guys and welcome back to another Silica video. So, today is kind of the day. Um, we have just got the first iteration of air units in strategy mode. It is in the beta, um, it is a rough workaround. Uh, Dram is currently still working on it, so you won't see it in the live game until he feels like it's ready to be released. But I'm going to be showing you the humans uh, in this video and I'll show you the aliens in the next video. If you enjoy the video please leave a like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button to stay up to date with Silica and on Sunday, this Sunday in particular, we're going to be going live on the beta branch with the air units and uh, we all get to try them out in a proper strategy scenario. Anyway, uh, we're going to be jumping into Badlands. Um, I'm just sat on my own server. I'm going to be playing as Commander to start with and then I'm going to have a little look around on the uh, the building that manufactures the aircraft. Um, there are a few things that are rough at the moment as well. Um, Drams already let me know that the <laughs> yeah, well, you'll see it. It'll be he'll be a little bit of comedy, but the air units um uh, they have issues leaving the pad after manufacturing. But Dram is going to be fixing that when he's back in the office um next week. So we're going to be jumping in. Let's go to Rift Basin. We're going to go human v human. And like I said, um the alien side of things actually will be released on the same day. So I'm be looking to get this out um. A few hours after this video so two videos in one day um human air and alien air right well the first thing i've noticed instantaneously is uh we're currently looking at a bolterian patch here before we pick human v human um i don't know if that's a change but that uh yeah that's i think that's new to me that is new to me anyway we're going to go Sol. I know you guys are going to hate me for saying I'm always a Centauri boy, etc, etc. But uh, we're going to be going Sol. And uh, I don't know much more about the patch. All I know is that air units are finally entering the strategy mode. Um, actually, there is one thing. Um, there are floodlights that have been added to certain factories and refineries. Now, um, an interesting fact about that. Um, I had a hand in, uh, in creating that for the patch. Um... So yeah, I had a little dabble in, in, in the patch, well this patch, when it comes to the factory lighting. Just to help you at night, basically, to be able to find the entrance to the factories. And um, it's really good. Oh wow, okay, so they're, they're right next door. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so I've had a little dabble in that patch uh, for the factories. Um, it's a very nice volumetric light at night, um, and you'll, you'll see when we get there. So we're going to have to wait for the refinery to build first. Um... So we have to wait for that. I would like to activate cheats and stuff. But I want to kind of show you guys um, from a normal strategy perspective. And a longer gameplay video than what I normally do. I mean, I will continue to do the patch notes when this eventually goes to patch. Which um, is when Dram feels it's safe to release air units into uh, the live game. Um, to be honest with you, this match is going to be a bit hairy. Because the fact that we've got uh, <laughs> Centauri literally above us. Like only a few hundred meters away. Um... So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I already know what Rift Basin's about, so we're not going to go scouting much. I know where the Bolterian patches are. There's one here. Um, there's going to be one over here. There's going to be one on this hill. Uh, more down here. So I kind of know where the Bolterium is. Um, don't doesn't need much uh, much more than that. Uh, we're going to keep the quads here for defensive purposes, along with these six scouts, because the enemy is right next to us. And we're going to wait for this refinery to build. I will allow the AI commander to regain control of command when I uh, build the air factory. And that's when we get there. So it looks like Centauri's got their refinery up. Our refinery's about to come up as well. And uh, let's have a look. There are the two spotlights there on the factory um, girder trusses. And we'll see what they look like at night when they switch on. Anyway, we are going to go straight for tech facility. And we're going to try and push it as much as I can over here. Uh, the main reason is I'm going to use this tech facility as kind of like, an, kind of like a, a bit of an expansion. So I can get another refinery down next to these two Bolterium patches. Nothing we're going to get as well because I'm going up against the AI. I'm not too concerned about um, like a human v human aspect of things. Um, I'm not going to go off like a build. I'm just going to build how I please. Unit under 
So we're going to quickly take control of the harvester. Try and speed up that Bolterium gathering. So like I said as well guys, um, this beta build with the air units is not um, fully stabilized in, in the sense that it's working as intended. Um, Dram just basically pushed it out there so you guys can try it and leave some feedback. There are things, there are issues mainly with the human side of things. The air aliens seem to be working relatively okay. Um, in his words, the AI is dumb as F. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to get this harvester docked. Now, the good thing about this, when I leave it, it will continue as last uh, command. Which, being a harvester, will literally be to leave the pad and go and refine more bolterium. We'll grind it down. So, uh, right. Light vehicle factory. We're going to build that at the front line as well. We're not going to build it there. We're going to build it here. Um, looks like our tech facility is done also. Uh, we've got enough money to build another refinery. We're going to build it here. If we can get one here. I know I always have issues with getting a blueprint down. Right here. And it just doesn't work. We're going to move our guys over there quickly. See if they can light up some more battlefield for us. With line of sight. So we can get a build order for this refinery down. Uh, yeah, not quite. I don't think I'm going to be able to get one down here. Which kind of sucks, but it's to be expected. We'll have to get one here. I'm pretty sure I can get one down here. Just got to wait for the, uh, the good old rifleman to, to light this place up. So I know Dram was um, speaking to us quite a bit in the uh, last Silica Sundays where he joined us about having a grid system put in. Um, he's still looking into doing that, so hopefully that will arrive after our units relatively soon. Um, yeah, having a grid system to show where you can and where you can't build would definitely improve the quality of life for the commanders in general. Um, I might not even be able to get this refinery down. Ooh. Just not having it. Just not having it. I can't even build it nearby either. Which kind of sucks. Um, okay. Looks like we're just going to have to send a, you know, send the harvester over there manually. Um, I, I could trust the harvester doing it that way. So, it'll leave the platform. Hopefully go this way. So, we'll see. Right. Okay, so we're kind of defending this already. Um, I'm going to get a armored car out just for the time being. It's only the AI. I'm not too worried about building meta. Let's get this harvester harvesting. So we can get back to base for some more glorious money. Now, I do believe we can now go to Mark II. So, um, as I escort this harvester back to his refinery. Very slowly. And surely. We will see where the air factory sits in uh, in 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 the tech, basically. Oh, another thing as well. Um, building. <laughs> okay, so the fighter is where the fighter should be, and apparently, building the bomber also builds the fighter, which is another issue that needs to be addressed. Uh, Dram, unless he's already done it, I don't think he has. Uh, it will be addressed when he's back in office. So, unfortunately, humans, no. No bomber for you. Not yet. Okay, that should give us enough to go Mark II. Let's just quickly have a look at the uh, construction. Radar, outposts, nothing yet. Are we looking at this? Okay. We're good with the light armor cord for now. Okay, harvest is reversing out. Let's see where his order is going to take him. There's the armored car. Get him at the front line. Try not to build as much. 
just because I want to try and see where this sits in the tech tree. However, I will get an outpost out for the time being. Um, I might actually bring it downhill just for refineries because there's a whole source of Volterian untapped down here. And it's only a thousand, so. I'm gonna get one on the front line as well because it's a defensible structure. Right, okay. Mark two. Heavy vehicle factory. Nothing yet, so. Nothing as of yet. Okay, that is fair. Okay, so the harvester went there, which is okay. He's, he's doing he's doing his job. You are having issues, so we're going to quickly spin you around. And this is why we need more refineries because I want to get more money, and I'm not going to cheat to do it. I know I have a tendency just to go, you know what? For the video, I'm just going to add, you know, nine million funds. <laughs> uh, not for this video. I rarely play Commander for you guys, and I know it's not player v player, but literally nobody was on the beta branch when I when I did this and when I gone uh, and recorded this video. Um, the patch literally just got uh, added to the beta. So, wait, is that new on top of the harvester? Am I just? No, I don't think it's new. No, it couldn't be new. Huh. The reason why I'm facing this way is because that Bolterium patch is now gone. Um, there's Bolterium on the opposite side there. You can currently see the crystals on my camera feed. I'm pretty sure the Harvester will want to uh, go that way this time. So we're going forward now. How's this Harvester performing? Okay, he's full. Right. Just for sakes, I'm going to get a heavy factory up. Uh, we're going to put it here next to the light factory. And then we're going to go Mark Three. This has now been built. What I'm going to do is send that light quad down for scouting purposes. So I can get some bolt here. Right? Yep, called it. I knew you'd go there. You're having an issue, issue, issue so we're going to turn you around. Now, guys, don't do this. The reason why I say don't do this is because if you do this, an AI is in control of another harvester. Um, the AI will teleport into the refinery and blow himself up. Now, that is going to a refinery that's already in another harvester's like control. Unless you're both players. So, don't do what I do. But I've literally just seen this harvester leave the refinery. So, I'm pretty happy with getting my butt into this refinery quick time. Instead of going all the way over there. So, uh, we'll see if this ends badly. I'm pretty sure it won't. Unless that harvest is a mining at an exponential rate, but I don't think he is. Come on, you big slow beast. Let's get it. I will continue to have control of this harvester. Uh, just because I need to keep my eye on this other harvester. As soon as I see him start spinning or reversing towards this refinery, I am getting out of here. I'm not... A f yeah, I'm not going to be losing both these harvesters. By the looks of it, the defences are holding nicely. For now. Okay. Okay, I'm happy you're letting him carry on what he was doing. Okay, so we're keeping him at bay, which is fine. 
We're now Mark III. Let's have a look and see where the factory is. Is the factory in Mark III? I don't see it. I am going to build the radar station. I don't know what the unlock criteria is for this uh, for this factory. So uh, we are going to do that. Speaking of which, I'm going to get another refinery up. One quad. Move that butt. Okay. We're going to get it here. Oh, uh, we are going to go tech four. In a, oh, hold on. Okay, so it wasn't the unlock criteria. The unlock criteria, I believe, was the heavy factory. And you can see the air factory is there at 5,000. Um, so we are going to build that in a second. Those two harvesters are going to be bringing back Boltium real soon. Um, I am tempted not to get any vehicles just yet. We want to see... Uh, I wonder if this was Mark III. I'll have to ask Dram. Right. <clears throat> oh, typical um, human AI fashion, sending a bunch of infantry away. Okay, that one's heading home. This one's just got home. Let's get the air factory built. We are going to go explore it as an infantryman as well. Once it's built. Uh, how are we doing for... Okay, so we're actually getting overrun now. How much money we got? We've got 6,600. I'm just going to produce two hover tanks for defense. We're going to bunch, bunch together bunch and riflemen as well. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with just those lot to keep the uh, Centauri at bay. Um, they're building a heavy factory. Still only Mark II as well. <clears throat> I'm not going to go Mark IV just yet. Because I want to see what the factory produce in Mark III. I'm interested in seeing. Oh well, shredded. And uh, I would assume this is going to get shredded very momentarily. Pretty sure the HQ will open up here. And there we go, shredded. I could build turrets, but yeah, I'm just not going to bother. They got their first light armored car out. Unfortunately, not going to last very long. Third harvester's up. Not going to need any more than three harvesters for this gameplay anyway. Okay, just over halfway complete for the air factory. Does take a while to build. Let's just check his build time. 
So 275 seconds, so a, a bit longer. Well, yeah, quite a bit longer than the uh, heavy vehicle factory. So it will take a while to build this bad boy. Oh yeah, also, I was saying about spotlights added to uh, factories. There's one there added to the front of this factory. Um, now, I do believe we kind of said to not put a spotlight in, in the light factory. Instead, change the interior lighting of the light factory. I will go have a look at that night time. Um, the barracks we left alone because technically it's not a factory. It is literally a barracks. It's where the soldiers sleep and like, you know, train and stuff like that. You don't really need massive spotlights for that. Um, and the other factory, uh, being the ultra heavy, also has a spotlight as well. Oh, yeah, and the air factory does. But I didn't have a hand in the air factory. The air factory was uh, Dram's idea. Same goes with the HQ. No spotlights on the HQ. Again, it's a kind of like a... No, I wouldn't say it's residential. It is a headquarters building. And, uh... I don't think there's any lights on the research facility. Um, we did discuss about lighting, like, putting some sort of, like, laboratory-ish lighting on it. But, um, I don't think there is any line on that. I'm pretty sure it's just factories. Okay, here it is. So here is the air factory for the humans, for Sol and Centauri for now. Now remember guys what Dram said in the last Silica, Silica Sundays that we've done with him. Um, if you didn't join in on that, then you can go back uh, two weeks ago to that uh, VOD. Um, we're speaking about how these buildings here are going to be Centauri as Sol are going to have different looking buildings in total. So this is going to be the Centauri um, air factory. Let's have a look see what he's got inside. So, the gunship. Okay, so, as you can see, to-do description has not been updated yet. So, we've got gunship, fighter, and dropship. Um, like, like I said, I need Ashdram. Are these natural for tech th tech 3? Or, for example, gunship's actually at tech 2. Or, and I didn't build the factory in time for tech 2. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to queue up the gunship and two fighters for now. Um, we're going to actually go Mark 4. And... We are going to relinquish command to the AI. Okay. Well, we're going to teleport over there. I'm not walking. Yes, I'm lazy. Okay, here it is. So, this is the Air Factory. A very big building. Absolutely massive. As you can see here, it is just ginormous. It is probably on scale, if not just a tiny bit smaller than the Ultra Heavy Vehicle Factory. Um, the way you get up to the top, there's an elevator in here. So you go in, and there it is. So you've got the elevator. Which, ele 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 oh my god, elevator physics. Yes. Which brings you up to this part of the building where the manufacturing for the aircraft has begun. And this is the landing pad. There's also like a little section back here. There's nothing really here. Um, there's just, you know, some little bits. There's no teleporter back here or anything like that. It's just all, uh, it's all decorative features. As you can see. All decorative. So here's the gunship. Now, we're going to see how it moves off the pad. Because this is one of the issues that Dram um, was having today. Um, okay. 
I mean, it's not that bad. It does go back and forth, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So that's that's the issue that Drown's been having. Now, I have tried to claim it. Um, let's see what happens when you claim aircraft. Because by the looks of it, it might be something the commander has to deal with for now. Um, okay, looks like I'm just falling down the elevator. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. A little bit of feedback for the drown man. We need a button to call the elevator. Oh, I just I just seen the uh, gunship open fire there. Also, I think it collided with something to do with the building. It's like it's on a loop command. So it's not actually... I don't think it's even going to land for me at this point. The AI just cannot figure out the aircraft just yet. So yeah. So the aircraft's busted in that sense. You, you, you go to claim it. It doesn't really claim. But an easy way to counteract that if you're an online game or if you're in a solo. Is just reclaim command of your... Uh, of your aircraft. Um, as you can see as well. Commanding the aircraft doesn't seem to work. Just yet. But you can take command and just land the land the beast. Oh. Ooh, what's going on with this bad boy? Seems to be wigging out quite a fair bit. Oh. That's a rocket truck. Oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> right. I've got a feeling I know what's happening. It seems to be on a loop cycle. Oh god, the AI's produced pulse tanks. That's all good. When in doubt, just crash into it. Deal some damage to it in that aspect. Right, that was the biggest threat to me at the moment. Let's see what the aircraft does. I think he might return to the air pad. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Okay, where are we at? We're at Tech 4 now. Let's have a look. So the bomber is there now. Apparently the bomber does, uh, unfortunately, produce um, the fighter. I think we're producing fires next as well, so... We can have a look again, but we'll have a look in commander mode. Our base is under but like I said, guys, this is going to get fixed real quick. Um, either over the weekend or when Dram is back in the office. So this won't be like this for long. Enemy we're going to try and produce the bomber so I can show you what I mean. And then we're going to actually turn cheats on and turn it to nighttime so you guys can see the factory lighting. Hundred forty seconds, by the way, for the fight to the build. They're all hundred forty seconds, so I assume this is going to be changed. Um, I would assume the gunship should be a lower timer than the rest. Um, what are you doing, Harvester? Okay, you're delivering funds. The AI decided it'll be a good idea to produce just random units and uh, send them off on a tangent somewhere. So yeah. Let's see how the fire reacts when he leaves the factory. Okay, let's see how the fighter does. So yeah, he's on a loop cycle again. He's going back and forth. It's no biggie though. Like I said, it's no biggie. Um, yeah, th there is definitely something of issue with the AI. You can see the fighter is kind of like twitching out. Like it wants to do something different. And also, I've just noticed as well, the land command does not work. 
that is turning around like he wants to go back to the factory. So, yeah. There is definitely an issue in that regard. The missiles are not being changed just yet. I know Dram was ask, uh, was uh, mentioning that he might rechange the missiles on the fire again. Because they, they seem a little bit too nerfed. Um, they don't seem very powerful at all. So, um, we'll see what that change is going to be about as well. But the, the fire is out. Um, I'm going to abandon this fire in a second. I'm just going to let him shoot, see where he goes as well. Um, let's say he's returning back to the home port. We're going we're gonna to cancel these. And we're going to just build the bomber and see what gets produced. I'm pretty sure it'll just be a fighter. But we'll see. Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a big footprint. So we'll see. Oh, well, the fire's dead. Oh, no, it's not. It's right there. Let's have a look. So there's no actual error for the... Uh, Unit under attack. Unit lost. For this AI itself, but... Enemy unit destroyed. The aliens are going to be reacting in, in, a, in a cleaner manner. Very, very big blueprint. But you kind of see like the outline of a bomber there. Like these two pylons here are literally the engines. But what is actually inside of this bad boy? Is it going to be a fighter or is it going to be a bomber? I mean, these are still able to be flown. So despite the issues... The commander could still hand units over to players, despite the twitching and stuff. Just, just a reminder though: if you do leave, you, you cannot take control of the, you know, the aircraft just yet. So, um, the commander will have to land them for you. You can like call them in and stuff. So, wait, he's staying still. Oh god! Haha! Have we solved the age-old question? Though he's heading home now. <laughs> I don't want the uh, the rocket truck to annihilate my uh, my air factory. So we're going to go try and uh, swiftly eliminate this bad boy. We're going to let the tanks deal with them. Yep, there you go. So, by producing a bomber, we actually produced a fire. So, it's just a technical issue. Um, yeah. Funny enough, I actually ticked over to the fire afterwards as well. Right, with that being said, let's turn cheats on. And let's adjust the time scale. And we are going to go back to being an infantryman. And we are just going to grab the rifleman for now. Let's have a look at the factories. So the good thing is I built all the factories next to each other. Apart from the ultra heavy. I will build. I will quickly like print the ultra heavy. So you can see that as well for the video. Um, dancing. Pog. We're going to start with the light vehicle factory. Just so, just so I can show you what I mean by no spotlight on this one. It just didn't feel right to have a spotlight on it on a tiny garage. Have you ever been into like a garage at night? Normally there's quite white light inside of the garage itself. So as you can see, I was actually meant to like claim that so I can use it for travel. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, inside of the factory itself, um, it is brighter. Great, he's building a heavy armored car right out the door. <laughs> so I can't get my ass in there. Oh no, I can. There we go. Took damage there. Um, yeah, so it's brighter inside the factory. You can see the lights there, the white lights now. Um, and they are bright in that aspect. I'm just dying on that then. Where's my uh, where's my quad gone? Hello? AI? Where's my quad? Right, never mind. Fair. I didn't want it anyway. 
See the spotlight there on the airfield as well. We're going to head over to the ultra, he uh, sorry, the heavy vehicle factory now. And there we go. So we've got some spotlighting out of the main entrance to the factory to give it like the industrial entrance look. Also helps you locate the front of the building as well. I know it's minor, but it does work. Hello, aircraft. Yep, crash into each other. You love to see it. Oh, baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And there's a spotlight there as well. As you can see, we'll head up to the main deck and you can see it as well there. So we're 36 minutes into the video. One of my longer videos um, in the in the past, there are a few videos I've put out, normally about 10 minutes long. So hope you guys enjoy having a, a bit of a longer video this time around. So there's a spotlight as well, right on top of the pad. Um, looks like the AI is building the ultra heavy vehicle factory. Um, we're actually just going to respawn. Oh god, no. That's not where I want to be, but it's fine. Um, we're just going to teleport over to a refinery. Actually, hold on. Which outpost is this? Oh, okay. A uh, bit of a run, actually. But it's going to be the last thing with this video, anyway. We're going to explore the... Uh, the refinery. Now there's two spotlights added to the refinery as well. Now this is just mainly because of where the processing facility is. It's just to light up the pad. Um, but any industrial building, if there's like a main working platform, it's normally lit up like a Christmas tree. So just bearing that in mind, as you can see. Nice and lit up. Just gives that industrial feel, you know, so it's not just complete darkness. Such a nice looking change as well. So little and subtle, but so, uh, so nice looking. At the dead of night, just lighting up the pad here for where the harvester returns to de uh, deliver the Bolterium. Right. How's this factory looking? The harvest is stuck. Let's help him out quick. Poor harvester. The last building we're going to look at here is going to be the uh, the ultra heavy vehicle factory. There you go, Mr. Harvester. Happy harvester. The good thing is, while well, it's built right next to the HQ, so I can just spawn in and quickly have a look at the uh, facility. Oh dear. AI harvester problems, eh? There you go, sir. Off you go. We're going to see what the dropship blueprint is going to be. Also, you can see the uh, cost of each uh, each individual aircraft. So, two thousand for the gunship, two thousand four hundred for the dropship. Fighters sitting at three thousand and five thousand for the bomber. Ultra heavy is almost done. Let's go back to Seoul and infantry and take a look at that bad boy. So by the looks of it, it's actually facing the opposite direction. We'll, we'll know as soon as we see the lighting. Oh, almost fell off. Yeah, so it's facing the opposite direction. Over towards the rocks. Uh, 
And there's the spotlight there as well. Looks like a siege tank is on its production. But yeah, that is most of the known changes that I know of for the time being. Like I said, it, this isn't going to be released into the live game until Dram feels totally comfortable with the state of the patch. Um, it's kind of like a first look iteration for you guys to have a little stress test with. As you can see, the AI for the human aircraft are not working in particularly well. However, they can be manufactured from a building, and you can also take control with the help of a commander. So with the assistance of the commander as well, I don't think the human AI are programmed to build the factories yet. So, um, yeah, you won't see AI human build that factory. Just going to have a little look quickly. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, they do. Okay, no, never mind. Centauri have built themselves the air factory. Just no... Uh, just no manufacturing building. And by the looks of it as well, uh, the dropship's at Tech Zero. Because uh, we're about to win this game, technically, as the soul side. Um, as you can see, <laughs> this is all that's left. Um, the poor harvester having a big issue trying to get back on the pad. Um, but no, they have built the uh, air factory. It's just they can't produce from it. I don't see the AI producing any of these. So, yeah. Anyway. Without further ado, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on Sunday for Silica Sundays. Come and join in. Uh, we are going to have full access to these beautiful aircraft, um, and you guys get to play with it in a real strategy setting with the building that's able to manufacture them. And uh, stay tuned for the alien counterpart to these two videos, which will be going up probably an hour to two hours after this video. Anyway, guys, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Cheers.